Hello again. Um, so we're back to the Mark III Stirling Engine project. Um, in this uh, video, I'm hoping to build the firebox, put the heat exchangers together, and hopefully, if I have time, I'll put the chimney um, together as well.
right, it's been a busy old week in the garage. Um, I'll show you what I've achieved this week. So this is as far as we got with the heat exchanger. Um, I got it all tacked together, um, put all the tubes in. So this is the hot side. Um, all hot gases will be going through that with all the surface area there to um, put the heat into the working fluid. This is our cold side. Um, there's a fair more tubes in this. Uh, this is to create more surface area in the cold side, which I believe is what is needed. Um, you can see one boss there. And also one boss there. That's for the water going in and water coming out because this is a, a water cooled um, cold heat exchanger for the cold side of the engine. Over here, I've welded my chimney together. So the chimney is complete and ready to be bolted on. Just move my son's bike out of the way. All right, so it's um, so this is the the burner unit. Fingers in front of the lens. Um, I made this door at the bottom. It doesn't actually serve any purpose other than a storage area. Um, there is a chance that it will become slightly warm as well. So I was thinking I could put my food in there to keep it warm, maybe. <laughs> There's the fire door on the front here. So I should be able to loosen these off. And this is the way. So this is going to be a rocket type stove. Um, so this is like the uh, the ash clear out door. We're clearing the ash out. So the fuel will be put in here. This is all going to be lined with fire bricks to keep it nice and hot. So all the wood smoke is burnt up so that it shouldn't smoke. That will close up. This is meant to be the adjuster. Yeah, it's a bit loose to be fair. I mean, it'll work for the moment. Um, I might have to um, do something else here. But I'm not too worried about that. And this is where the flue gas will come out. This space right here, once it's uh, superheated, it should be up to about a thousand degrees or so. And you can see it in position there. Of... Um, uh, that's the kind of um, orientation it's going to be in when it's all assembled. One other thing I've managed to do was the pistons. <coughs> um, I've taken these somewhere to get these TIG welded in. These are the little bosses, uh, not bosses, sorry, these little inserts. Um, and what I'm hoping to put here is some PTFE uh, rod. Uh, and this will act as the like a sliding element or four sliding elements at the end of the piston to keep it centralised. <coughs> Um, and to stop metal to metal contact. So there you go, that's the bulk of the stuff put together. Um, in the next video, I should be in a good position to start starting to put some stuff together, which will be um, a bit nicer because all the most of the hard work's out of the way now. So um, we'll see what happens there. Okay, we'll see you next time.